A lot of attention has been placed on what we can't do to reduce gun violence in the U.S. Senators Mark Kirk and Joe Manchin are focused on what they can do, closing gaps in the existing background check system. Today, no background check is required for 40% of gun sales, driving criminals to exploit gun shows and online sellers. Sting operations show over 60% of online sellers would willingly and knowingly sell to convicted felons or the mentally ill. To close the gaps commonly abused by criminals, domestic abusers, and the mentally ill while protecting the Second Amendment rights of law-abiding citizens, this compromise bill will expand the current background check system. Sales and gifts to extended family and loaning personal firearms are exempt from any background checks, same as today. The bill protects Second Amendment rights by prohibiting the federal government from requiring buyers and private sellers to keep any record of transfer or sale and explicitly prohibits any registry of gun ownership. Last week I met with uh, Chicago Police Superintendent Gary McCarthy who told me that 40% of the guns that uh, the Chicago PD picked up were purchased at a gun show without a background check under this uh, gun show loophole. It will save lives and make it harder and harder for big drug gangs like the Gangster Disciples to rearm. Our amendment, the Public Safety and Second Amendment Rights Protection Act, will create a commission on mass violence to study in depth all the causes of mass violence in our, in our country and our society. With this bill, we have a new appeals process for a veteran to get their full Second Amendment rights, which is just and honorable given their service to the country. We wouldn't have rights without our veterans. Our amendment is more than a bipartisan compromise. This is common sense.